Have you ever enjoyed dishes made from crawfish? Nowadays, it is a popular dish in many parts of the world. Realizing that the species is highly profitable, has good reproductive ability, and is easy to adapt to all living environments, people raise crawfish on farms to serve consumption and processing meat. So let's explore the Crawfish Harvest Club and how to prepare this type of shrimp. What do you know about the shrimp? It is also known as the red crawfish and was once the fiercest invasive species to China's agriculture industry. But currently, this country is the place that consumes the most great crawfish. From a hated and destroyed species, it has now become a favorite dish of hundreds of millions of people around the world. Many farms raise the shrimp species and earn quite large profits. Crawfish originates from Louisiana and is also the main source of income for people here. It is known that there are about 1,200 shrimp farms, producing up to 90% of the U.S. product supply in this state alone. The environment for red giant crawfish to grow and develop is in rice fields. Because the price of rice is so low and it is often imported from countries with cheap labor costs, many business-minded farmers have chosen to raise this type of shrimp instead of growing rice for sale. Crop rotation between rice and shrimp each year creates the best habitat to produce maximum yields. In the wild, red crawfish eat all types of plants and some types of protein, so they are not picky eaters. Therefore, farm owners will save a lot on food costs when raising them. It is estimated that the average independent crawfish farmer will earn 46,800 in gross revenue annually in the state of Louisiana. Even large farms can harvest millions of pounds of red crawfish every year. Unlike fish, red crawfish are not harvested with seine nets. Instead, they are harvested using a passive system that uses bait traps. Harvesting begins as early as mid-November and continues from April to June. Traps are usually made from wire mesh and baited with food to attract crawfish. They are then released into the water for a certain period of time and the shrimp will enter the trap and be caught. After the trap is finished, they'll put them one by one into bags with holes and tie them tightly so they cannot escape. Shrimp harvesting is the final step in the shrimp farming process and provides a source of income for farmers. Harvested lobsters can be sold directly to the manufacturing plant in preparation for the domestic market or sold to international markets.
Lobster is not difficult to prepare, but you need to know how to do it. At Lobster Production and Processing Factories, they always put the interest and health of consumers first, so the processing steps are carried out carefully. First, as usual, they'll wash them thoroughly to remove any remaining soil blockers on the lobster's body. After that, they'll be put through hot water in the heating area to easily peel the shell. Here, the workers show their professionalism, carefully peeling the shrimp by hand to avoid tearing the fresh shrimp. Finally, it is packaged and preserved to deliver to consumers. In addition to creating wonderfully delicious fresh shrimp dishes, they can also prepare them and eat them directly by washing and boiling them with spices, corn, and then enjoying them right away. It's simple and attractive, isn't it? Crawfish are an extremely high source of nutrients, bringing many benefits to human health. A portion of cooked crawfish of about 145 grams can contain up to 130 calories, 1.25 grams of fat, 27.55 grams of protein, 3% of each person's daily need for vitamin A, 9% calcium, and 3% iron. In addition, lobster also contains many other nutrients that are good for you. Do you remember these pictures? That heartbreaking image reflected the reality of poverty in Africa at that time. So after nearly a decade, we will no longer see such pitiful images. No, it still exists to this day. Not just in one or two countries, but in Africa as well. According to United Nations, tens of millions of people are on this continent will fall into extreme poverty in the near future. So what makes Africa such a poor continent? It is possible to revive this painful land? Let's find out in today's video. African Agriculture Africa's subsistence agriculture is characterized by the use of traditional farming, methods including hand tools, animal drawn plows and other primitive techniques. This type of agriculture is usually practiced by small-scale farmers who grow crops for their own consumption or sell in local markets. Farmers engage in backward agriculture in Africa often have a limited access to modern agricultural tools, equipment and inputs such as fertilizers and pesticides.
One of the main challenges of backward agriculture in Africa is low productivity. In particular, farmers here often struggle to meet their basic needs, including food and income, which ultimately prolongs poverty and impedes economic growth. In addition, backward agriculture in Africa is prevalent with unsustainable land use practices such as overgrazing and deforestation, which can lead to land degradation, erosion and loss of biodiversity biological form. Investors around the world have discovered the potential for agricultural development in Africa. But how do we mine? Monomize that agriculture so that people of Africa themselves also benefit. German experts predict that by 2050, Africa's population will double from the current 1 billion people. The demand for food is constantly increasing and the middle class demands a higher quality of life. Therefore, African agriculture faces a huge challenge. Meanwhile, in the world, many countries have built and developed their own modern and sustainable agriculture. Smart agriculture development associated with flexible and effective response to climate change, global epidemics and challenges of the times is an inevitable trend of many countries around the world. Agriculture 4.0 has significantly helped solve the problem of cost, labor, efficiency in production and better meet domestic food demand. Ignoring the impact of climate change, many agriculture still meet the demand. An outstanding country that is considered to have a modern smart agriculture in the world can be mentioned as Israel, a small country in the Middle East with extremely harsh natural conditions. Two-thirds of its territory desert and the rest are bare rocky hills, arid climate. Much of the prosperity of this country's economy is due to smart agriculture with a series of outstanding achievements. Since then, Israel has been honored as a country with the most modern agriculture in the world. In a short period of time, Israel has transformed water sausage, food sausage to food self-sufficiency into a nation in five consecutive years with agricultural production value always exceeding 3.5 billion US year after year, in which exports account for over 20%. As for countries that are easily affected by climate change or have small agriculture production, areas such as the Philippines, Korea, Singapore, Belgium, etc. The LED technology in agriculture has brought about optimal crop yields and best quality meat the demand for quality food and ensure food safety. All four countries such as Russia, the US, Canada, Australia, China, etc which are characterized by a large area of agricultural land and rapidly aging population, the use of agricultural robot technology in automation processes. Agriculture, harvesting, transporting, fruit, tilling, weeding, planting, irrigation has increased labor productivity many times higher than manual labor and has high precision. Looking that in Africa, a region with poor agriculture, what have people done to change?